Hi. Uh, Joseph Miller is my name, and I painted this painting. Uh, it's a painting, but it's also a poem. And it's also a description of something, but it's also an abstraction. It's representational, and it's non-representational. It's just everything. Anyway, basically, I'm a craftsman. And I crafted the stretcher that then I put linen, stretched it over, put tacks down the side, nice and tight, put rabbit skin glue on it so that this oil paint, which has linseed oil, isn't going to destroy the canvas. It's a method that's, got, that's practically a thousand years old now. Uh, invented by the Flemish who grew the canvas, the linen cam from flax. Uh, so this painting, I used some particular tools. And uh, one of my tools is always a rag. But to start the painting, I used this particular brush. I rarely use this brush. But uh, the way I used the brush in this painting was to take some pigment. It was this pigment here, this reddish earth pigment. And uh, I uh, made it like it was watercolor, nice and, but I did it with linseed oil and the pigment. Uh, got it real thin so it was kind of drippy like with you were using watercolor. And then I used it full of paint, loaded with paint, let it drip until it stopped dripping. And then I, it was loaded. And then I started in painting this. And I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't even know where I was going. And uh, so I painted these lines and these lines. And I don't know why, I didn't at the time think I was going to have two views, in a way, of the same subject. But I ended up with that. And uh, so I painted mostly with this brush all these lines. Then at some point, I started painting inside between here with the red and the yellow. And then I, I used that brush for this. And I still didn't, haven't worked, hadn't worked out a lot of this around the outside. And so I kept working and painting and going back into it. This was a little bit more like normal painting. The paint was thicker and I could work it. And then at some point, I started using my palette knife, and that was scraping out and painting in this, this blue, working it, just working it so that it somehow balanced and looked right to me. So uh, then, uh, after I finished the painting, I still didn't really know what it was, but I started thinking about it. And I thought about it for a year let this whole thing dry for a year. Then I used this brush, and I varnished the whole painting. Started one, and went all the way through it, varnishing it. And that protects the surface and makes it so there's depth in the color. And all the time I had my rag with me, so if I ever needed to clean up anything, I could do that. Yeah, I didn't really know what it was about when I was painting it. It was kind of like re writing a poem, and you, it sort of develops in your mind as you go. And I started to realize that it was an experience I had about 50 years ago of being up a canyon called Fossil Canyon. Uh, Major Powell named it Fossil Canyon when I went down the Grand Canyon down the Colorado River, and he wrote a, 
there's a big book about that whole thing, because he, he wrote everything down he did. He only had one arm. He was an amazing guy. Anyway, he went up this canyon called Fossil Canyon, and he uh, discovered the most amazing thing. There are the, these beds of fossils. So you walk up the canyon, you keep walking up stairs in a way, but they're really long stairs. And as you walk along the, stair, the, the platform of the stair to the next level, you're seeing all these frogs. <laughs> They're embedded in the bed. In the, and then you get to a point where suddenly you come up to the end of the canyon. It's just this huge cliff. And, but there's this deep pool. And this pool is a plunge pool. And in the plunge pool, the plunge pool is really deep. At this point, it hasn't rained for, for a long time. And the plunge pool is stagnant, but and there's there's sand that's all around the edges of the plunge pool, plunge pool, and you can see into it. You could like you could get in there. It's so deep though, but you realize as you sit back and spend about a half an hour waiting, all the life that was in there suddenly starts coming back. And it's frogs. Frogs are just crawling all over the place in the sand when I just sat and waited. And then I just look out, and there's these frog fossils in the bed. And then there's these frogs. There's something going on here that's really interesting. And then I thought, what's it like to be a frog in this stagnant pool? What's it like in there? And so this was one frog's view in one position, and this was another frog's view in another position.